Mary was not letting go of Joanne. Babe, pop a fry in my mouth. Yeah. Oh. I have only one free hand because my other's holding your sisters and never letting go. Yeah, we nearly crashed when you were driving us here. What happened to ten and two, mister? Oh, yeah, I'd like your hands on my ten and two. Mm -hmm. Also, my four and eight. That's too many hands. And you're both clearly annoyed that I'm taking Erica to see Nancy, but this is too much. What I miss? Oh, just our new in-your-face love. Joanne, yeah? will you accompany me to the karaoke sign-up sheet? Oh, my God, our first trip together. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is fake, but they're both so insane, they may actually be made for each other. They're not. They just share the stubborn ability to commit to this fake relationship. Which is weirdly cute. Am I rooting for them? Please don't. Next up, Goldberg and Swartz singing Islands in the Stream. Oh, Barry, what are you doing? <laughs> What? Your sweet, stupid brother is trying to make up with me. And you got their how? Islands in the Stream, Goldberg and Schwartz. That's our go-to karaoke song. It's a classic romantic duet. So romantic, but we sing it ironically. Baby, when I met you, there was peace unknown. I set out to find you with a fine tooth comb. What the hell? I was soft inside. There was something going on. They're singing our ironic song sincerely. Islands in the stream, that is what we are. No one in between, how can we be lost? Stop, you're making something hilarious beautiful. This is the first of many things I'll make beautiful instead of hilarious as I choose my girlfriend Ooh. over my best friend. Ooh. Poems, rom-coms, noticing haircuts. You know, if your whole problem is this supposed best friend, girlfriend triangle, I can fix it for you right now. We're no longer best friends. With that, Jeff made Barry realize his plan had misfired. Instead of getting his best friend back, he pushed him away. Meanwhile, my mom and I were ready to pull off a southern romantic gesture. How do I look? If I was a girl your age, I would fall into your arms and never let you go. I wish I didn't find that comforting. Here goes nothing. I'll go ready the fog machine, balloons, and confetti. This was it. I had my tux, my flowers, and one shot to convince Bria not to move south forever. My mom and I had thought of everything. Oh! Except that. Oh, balls! Murray, what are you doing in the Deep South? Saving the boy from making the biggest mistake of his life. You drove down to stop me? Damn right. This is a huge mistake. Now look at your mom with the balloons. I mean, how many balloons is that? The appropriate amount. Murray? Let's go. Damn it, we know what we're doing. We already role-played the whole scenario. Let's do it again. Only this time, I'll be Bria. Go ahead. Fine, Bria, I never want us to be apart. You stay away from me, you needy, lazy-eyed freak. Go kiss your Starboy dolls. I bet you'd like that, you weirdo. Wow, so much extra mustard. Look, your mom got in your head. She seems to think that if you go away for a little while, you go away forever. Huh, it does sound like her. If you decide to stay here with Bria, She'll have a breakdown. It's no coincidence she has two kids going to college just miles away from home. Oh my God, how did I not see it? This has been about you the whole time. That is outrageous. But maybe. I almost ruined my relationship because of your crazy insecurity. Is it so wrong that I want to keep my babies close to me? If it stops them from living their lives, it sure is. I don't even want to be near you right now.